Hey guys, my name is Ismas, and today let's look at how to create a double-sided material in Blender. Now this can be useful when you're creating pages for a book. Uh, for example, say this was uh, a page of a book and uh, we wanted to have a different material from this side and uh, then a different material from this side. This is what we're going to be doing in this uh, tutorial. So I'm just going to change to loop dev here so that I can preview the materials and then uh, I've changed also a split my viewport so that I can have the shader and uh, some 3D view uh, viewports here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's create a new material here and then uh, what you want to use is under shift A, input geometry and then you want to access uh, the back facing uh, input or output. So the back facing just shows uh, the direction of the normals for the, for the different faces. So uh, for example, if you go to your overlays, you can turn on face orientation and uh, that should show you, uh, you have to be in uh, this workspace uh, solid mode uh, to see uh, the, the effect. Uh, so it will show you the direction of the normal. So blue shows you uh, the positive direction of the normal and then red shows you the negative uh, direction of the normal. And uh, we're going to use uh, same technique, the same technique to create a mask that is going to tell Blender which side is up and uh, which side is down or which side uh, the normals are facing. So let's go back and uh, turn off this blue overlay. We can just go back to the overlays and then turn off face orientation. And uh, now we can go to the back facing geometry output node and then preview that. I'm using node, node wrangler to toggle between the different nodes. So you can see this gives us a black and white mask uh, for the different directions of the normal. And now we can use this as a mask uh, to say have two colors uh, for, the d uh, for the separate faces. So we can use this as a factor here. Now if I preview only this node, let me turn on my keys here. And okay, I don't have that add-on enabled, but uh, if I just have this as blue and this is red, you can see. Now, if we have a page, uh, so if you had a texture, let me just get an image texture here of, of text or a book, uh, we can use that uh, to do that. Let me find something in my textures. Yeah, for example, I can have at uh, the front side, at uh, this blue side, to have uh, this material. Preview this, you can see, and then uh, the red side to just duplicate this node. To have, let's see. To have maybe some text like this. Just feed this directly into color tool and you can see. But we are running into an issue here. So I want to change the UVs. Let me get something different here just so just to show you. Yeah, so let me get something like this here. So I want this side to have, let me just extend this, maybe scale this up so that it's not too stretching. So I want this side to have, say, this Coca-Cola banner and this side to have uh, this texture, but I don't want to switch other textures. So what I can do is uh, set, create a new UV set. So this UV set, this front side is going to use this UV set. And then I will, uh, let me create another UV set uh, for this back side so that if I want to move, so if I go to UV editor here, so if I want to scale this, scale this uh, so that uh, this side shows uh, the Coca-Cola banner. It doesn't affect uh, the UVs for this side. You can see when I'm scaling these UVs, I'm also affecting uh, the face on this side. So that's why I've created two UV sets uh, so that each of these can have in video UVs. So I can go into input UV map, then select the UV map, uh, the first UV map uh, for this um, one here. Now I can reset the UV, this UV map by just unwrapping it. Maybe it's rotated 180 degrees like that. Now as you see, it's affecting the bottom uh, UV map because they're still sharing the same UV map. I can duplicate this uh, so that I can select the second UV map. Now I can modify that if I select that. To be whatever banner I want something like that and you can see it's not affecting 
anything here. Yeah, so that's how you do a two-faced uh, material, a two-faced material. And uh, if you can see, if I add, let's say, Make a page. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.